In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make really engaging and fun TikTok videos from your podcast interviews or your podcast episodes. We're gonna be using Adobe Premiere for editing, but the same editing techniques you can put to use in any video editing software like Filmora, DaVinci Resolve, or Final Cut Pro. So let's get started. Hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School, where we're obsessed with podcasts and content creation. On our channel every week, we post a ton of really helpful content that you can use to take your online content to the next level. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, consider doing so now. So first I have to say that podcasts are getting very popular on TikTok. All you have to do is search for podcasts and you'll see dozens of them come up that are performing really well. Everyday podcasters that would otherwise be banished to obscurity or buried in the podcast directories now have an algorithm that's suggesting their content to people and they're finding whole new fans. And some of these podcasts are actually utilizing playlists that you can go to when you go to their TikTok channel. And under that playlist is a bunch of clips that are all part one, part two, part three, part four of an entire podcast episode. So it's really cool to think that we can create really good podcast episodes that from start to finish, we can just basically cut that thing up into chunks and distribute that to TikTok. With that being said, we are gonna want our faces on there. And I know a lot of podcasters don't like to share their faces, but that's something we, we need to do. So for this video, Veronica and I did a remote interview like you would on a traditional podcast, and we used Riverside FM. I would really suggest using a higher quality remote recording solution like Riverside FM or Squadcast FM. Both of those will get much superior quality to Zoom, and you're gonna have higher quality videos that look and sound that much more professional. So let's hop into the computer and sign in to Riverside. So to start with, I'll go to my Riverside FM studio recordings and download the files. Now I'll drag those files into a fresh Adobe Premiere project. Now we'll need to build a TikTok sequence with the right vertical settings. So let's click File and from the drop down menu, we'll select New Sequence or let's memorize the quick key for that, Control N for new. From this window, we can start by selecting digital SLR or DSLR and then 1080p and finally 24 frames per second. Now we need to swap the dimensions from 16.9 to 916. To do this, we'll click on settings from this window and swap 1920 and 1080. And to save myself this work next time, I wanna save preset by pressing save preset. We'll call it TikTok video. And look, it updates our sequence preset menu. Let's click OK and we're ready to edit. Oops, it looks like I dragged in the wrong files. So back to Riverside quickly to grab the right ones and I'll drag them directly onto the sequences timeline and choose keep existing settings. Now I'll need to drag these files one on top of the other and resize them and move their position so they fit nicely into the screen together. And now it's just a matter of cutting out all of the unnecessary footage and creating many slices to build a short 60 second clip of our performance. You could do this with your podcast episodes or even create many short clips out of one podcast episode. Now that I have the basic edit done, I'm going to create two more shots for close-ups of each of us. So to do this, I'll select all of the clips, right click and choose unlink. This way I can select just the video portion of these files. With all of the video clips highlighted, I'll press Control C for copy and Control V for paste later in the timeline. Now I'll drag the copies onto the other clips. And now let's highlight the original clips together and right click again to bring up this menu. And from this list, let's choose Nest to create a sequence from these clips and rename it Us Together. Now we just need to resize each of the new clips and I've noticed that 180% is the right scale to do that. So I'll type that into the effects panel here. Once they look right, I'll finish up the basic edits by deciding when each will appear. Okay, my basic edit is complete. Now we couldn't export without touching up the images and color. So let's use the Lumetri color effect in Adobe Premiere to balance the colors, add some contrast and a touch of saturation, and maybe even a little vignette. Finally, I like to use a plugin by Digital Anarchy called Beauty Box to soften our skin. It's like an Instagram filter, but more detailed and refined. Once I've got the pictures looking the way I like, I can highlight both the Lumetri color effect and the Beauty Box effect from the effects panel and press Control C for copy. Then I can simply highlight the rest of the clips and press Control V to apply the same effects to all the clips at once. We're almost done, we just need to sweeten up the sound. There's a nifty drop down menu that allows us to add inserts to our audio tracks. I'll use a noise reduction plugin called the NS1 Noise Suppressor by Waves. I'll put that on both of our tracks. And I'll also use a basic voice compressor modeling the famous 1176 compressor, a favorite of mine, on both of our tracks as well. While we're working on the sound, it's only right to drag some music in. 
and we can adjust the volume of the music and then automate it to change the volume throughout the video. So close. Since in this specific video we were talking about how to use Riverside FM, I'm going to bring in some graphics and some video clips to add to our sequence to make it even more eye-catching and fun. We'll need to change the position of these items around and get creative with our vertical space. For the last item here, let's add keyframes to the position and the scale of this screenshot clip. Then we can progress later in the footage and change the scale and position and Premiere will automate this movement. Thanks, Premiere. You can do this with your own graphics, videos, photos, logos, or even eye-catching titles and animations. And there you have it. I hope that sparks a lot of ideas for you. You can see how basically you can just drag in and drop multiple frames and you can really start to play and get creative with that vertical space. It can be a little bit to wrap your head around if you're used to the 16.9 dimension in your own video creation, but it's really fun. Please share your creations with us, share your podcast with us. Any questions that you have, leave them in the comments below. We are here to see you grow and we love talking to our podskis here on YouTube. Also, you can see this completed project on our TikTok page and I will leave the link for that in the description right where you're watching this video. Come check us out on TikTok and follow us over there. We also post daily short videos on TikTok with a ton of podcasting and content creation tips in small bite-sized pieces, all for you to unlock your creative powers and succeed with your endeavors in this creator economy. Hey, and until the next video, happy casting.